थ्री सुपर फैमिली शिव आइडिया सार्कोपेथिक आइडिया एंड होमिन आइडिया शिव आइडिया आर न्यू वर्ल्ड मंकीज मंकीज ऑफ द न्यू वर्ल्ड वेयर इज न्यू वर्ल्ड अमेरिका बहुत अमेरिका सर्कोपिथिक आइडिया आर ओल्ड वर्ल्ड मंकीज एंड होमिन आइडिया एप्स एंड मैन वाई यू कॉल दम न्यू वर्ल्ड बिकॉज दे वर डिस्कवर्ड लेटर ऑन ध्यान रखो मेंबर ऑफ ए सुपर फैमिली सुपर फैमिली एंड विद डी आ डी आ शिव आइडिया सर्कोपेथिक आइडिया होमिन आइडिया एंड मेंबर्स आर कॉल्ड वाइड्स शिवाइज है ना यहां तक शिवाइज सर्कोपेथिक वाइड्स एंड होमिन आइड then homino idea have three families families phylogetidae fungidae and hominidae and members are called ids hmm phylogetid fungid hominid ids id id ha huh, obviously s plural ho jayega and be sure when you are reading and you find a word hominoid and another word hominid डोंट गेट कंफ्यूज कि इसमें ओ मिसिंग है या इसमें ओ एक्स्ट्रा है वेन इट इज रिटर्न होमिनोइड बिलोंगिंग टू द सुपर फैमिली होमिनोइडिया द सुपर फैमिली ऑफ एप्स एंड मैन होमिनिड बिलोंगिंग टू द ह्यूमन फैमिली देन वी विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट sub families etc for that but here we won't because there is no need for that when we talk about living primates we straight away talk about the individuals hmm? you call them genus hmm? you have gibbon and once in the prelims it was asked which is which of the following is an ape and given was the choice but uh, most of the people take rangoor on a one monkey fine then in pongidi you have three chim gorilla and orang chim gorilla orang हाँ सेम फैंसी और आंगूठन मीन्स मैन ऑफ फॉरेस्ट डायोबिजिकल जो है वो एप ऑफ फॉरेस्ट है और आंगूठन है मैन ऑफ द फॉरेस्ट इसी और आंगूठन को अगर टोपी पहना के बिठा दो कुर्सी पे एंड इफ यू सी फ्रॉम ए डिस्टेंस इट विल सी मैज इफ एन ओल्ड मैन इज सिटिंग एंड दीज थ्री दे आर द लिविंग एप्स but if we include fossils also we don't have to talk about the fossils of that because we have to start from diabetes only hai na upar bhi humne kisi ki baat nahi ki if you talk about the pongid fossils the fossils of miocene hmm diabetes cheapetes and gigantopetes they are the fossil apes of the same family pongidi fine now if you understand that sentence dryophysicus was a biocene pongid 
you know what is diaphysicus, you know what is myosin, and you know what is fungate. You feel like studying further. That is the importance of terminology. But then, we will here omit for the time being, because genus is here, but for the others, for these, you had family, and then you have subfamily. Family and subfamily. Congidi family, hominidi family. Here, in the case of fossils, subfamily is diopithecine. We are talking about fossil evidence only now. Diopithecine. Subfamily to which Diopithecus, Shivapithecus, and Gigantopithecus belong. Family ke baas sub family aati hai na classification mein. In the case of hominidae, you have two subfamilies. One is hominini. And one is Astalopithecine. Hominini, Astalopithecine. Okay? Members are called either by the name Ins or Ains. Hmm? They are dryopithecines. signs. They are astalopithecines. signs. And they are hominins. जो D A E पे एंड होती है वो फैमिली है, जो N पे एंड होती है वो सब फैमिली है, सब फैमिली? हाँ, अब फॉसिल्स में लिविंग का नहीं कर रहे भी इसमें, ठीक है? लिविंग आखिर में आ जाएगा, लेकिन अदरवाइज ये जो है, we are talking about fossils only. When we talk about living primates, we don't talk about them. So if they ask you question about dryopithecines, means he is asking you about Diophysical, Shiva physical, Jaganda physical. Then, in Hominini, there is only one genus, Homo. Genus here we had already talked about, genus Homo, and here we have genus Astalopithecus. Twice at least you have been asked the question on Astralopithy science. You just have to write one line in the beginning that subfamily Astralopithy Sini, it has only one genus Astralopithicus, and then you have to continue with Astralopithicus. But if you don't add this line and you continue with Astralopithicus, the examiner has all the right to deduct n number of marks. If he asks you Astralopithicus, you will write Astralopithicus. But if he asks you astralopithecus signs, in astralopithecus in there is only one member that is astralopithecus, and then we, you will continue. Hmm? Then in hominini, we have three, oh, sorry, genus homo, we have three species. Hmm? There are two species which are extinct. Erectus and uh, Neanderthal.
and sapiens the third one is a living species theek hai time lagega thoda sa internalize karne mein order primates two sub orders prosimiae and anthropoidea anthropoidea three super, super families sibioidea sarcopithecoidea hominoidea members are called sibioids sarcopithecoids hominoids hominoids hmm then continue with this three families hylobatidae pongidae hominidae hmm in the hylobatidae only one genus in pongidae you have three living and three fossil they are combined into a dryopithecine species uh, sub family in hominidae you have two sub families hominini and australopithecine in hominini only one genus in australopithecine only one genus australopithecus and homo and here you have three species that is totally extinct here we have homo sapiens alive other two are fossils we have to talk mainly about fossils but homo sapiens we have fossils also we have living also both ways we will be talking about now there are certain rules that you must remember while you classify firstly whenever you name somebody there are two names combined together this is called binomial nomenclature given by linnaeus first name is genus second name is species whenever you call somebody homo erectus australopithecus africanus diphysicus major first name is genus second name is species second thing first letter of genus will always be capital first letter of species always small hmm? if you see here genus i have written with a capital letter species i have written with this is we have written neanderthal man if i had written neanderthalensis then n would be small first letter of genus capital first letter of species small genus you can abbreviate species you have to write in full homo erectus you can write as erectus Australopithecus africanus, you can write A africanus. Hmm? Dryopithecus major, you can write D major. And last thing is, all the words which are not of English origin have to be underlined. These are Greek and Latin words, so must be underlined. Just like in social anthropology, varna and jati things. Hmm? 